Are you ready, Fable? Yes. To the bro trip. Sorry, please. This here corner of the room is very dark. Sir. What does it say? Vulcan, big daddy of the salamander marines, has returned after 8,500 8, years of being dead. Is it a oh. I think he seems to have gone insane. Oh. Share upon oh. my skin is like the Daddy bird. I love that saying. What have I not been able to gaze upon in the halls of the Imperial Palace? Magnus the Red, nine times damned traitor, could so easily slip inside. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh. oh, I've missed you, friend. <laughs> this is why I think uh, Chrono would be a salamander. The Imperial Palace, like right now. But the skeletal remains must too be embraced, they do. One bread of bone at a time. But first, oh. I must <laughs> make a tour of the Imperium of Mars. It has been too long since I have got a breath of fresh air. We shall see the works we fought for. And yeah. Fight, we shall see at that point. That sounds like the worst idea for a spin-off ever. Now let us all go. Adventure! Hooray! Yes! Adventure! <laughs> you ready for Adventure Fable? Sure. There's time... Okay, following a learning kind of pop-up full of contact lore explanations. We hope you tolerate it. Honestly, I love learning more lore. The times where Dreadnought felt alive before he died. I don't know what short it was. Huh. Oh, look whose ship it is, Fable. Is it Tommen? Tommen no. has a ship now? No. Look. Aww. Common. It's the Raven Guard. It truly is an honor. This honor is mine of Kaiba Strike. Master of Shadows. Master of Shadows is a term for the Chapter Master because, of course, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is true. Truly it is true, Fable. Really, truly true. Truly? <laughs> oh, indeed. I will say the chapter master of the salamanders and of the Raven Guard still looks really cool. Beloved cousin friends. By the forests of Kiev. This forge world, but its forests are pretty wild. Huh. My Primarch. Lots of lore. Children. Deliverance hath come. Hmm. My Primarch, <clears throat> the Raven Guard has served loyally in your name throughout the years. Ever have we chased your shadow in quest of your guidance. To follow in your silent footsteps. You oh need not These boys are so edgy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love their color scheme. I think they look cool, but they're so edgy. Mine shadow. <clears throat> it is I who shall join in yours, a shade shaped from your unflinching loyalty and staunched brotherhood for over 10,000 years. I will say, now in the lore, Chorus Corex has become a weird chaos mutant thing that's hunting his, cha uh, his chaos prince brother, uh, Lorgar, right now. Which has been fun. Where in the lore do they smooch? They don't smooch in the lore, and also, hello, Raikoi. Nah, they definitely smooch all over the place. It's no. true. No. I saw it once. No, you didn't. God. Don't let Matt lie to you. He's trying to gaslight you. I am, I am not. I shall serve alongside you, my sons. They're Together, just the edgiest boys. Spread to all the light that graces the graces our unworthy boy. forms. Yeah, the Raven Guard. I swear to leave the Ravens of Kiavar nevermore. Dear God. My hearts are floating with Quote the Raven. 
The, the emperor does not demand the gayest of smooches. Yep, the closest thing we have to that was uh, Ferris Menace and uh, Fulgrim, but we know that's not a thing because they're brothers. That just makes things we weird. Truly worthy? Don't die, Shrek. You'll shame the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your feet, Caddis. Rise, children. It is I who remains unworthy. Oh, okay. But matters of extreme pressure have led me out of my box. Natural fandom says so otherwise. Oh my god. Extreme pressure? The only thing I know about Supernatural is the things Fable told me. Well, is your fluid recovery system malfunctioning, Father? Is it Grandpa carrying with? Oh, ill. Not, not that kind of pressure. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, I know what he's referring to because hey, Matt. What? Remember how I told you that the in the Supernatural show they basically have their own like book series based off the Brothers' adventures? Yeah. They made a joke that when they actually found out about the boats, they're like, wait, people ship us. And they're like, they know we're brothers, right? And it's just like, yeah. Yeah, they do. It was freaking funny. It was very meta, but hilarious that they're making those jokes. Yeah, what the... Uh... <laughs> oh, no, I, uh, I deserve that. Uh... Hello, I am here too. <laughs> oh, of course. Please excuse me, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love Vulcan. stop unintentionally murdering my son. I want to remind everyone, Vulcan is the nicest, the largest of the Primarchs, and probably the strongest in terms of physical strength. <laughs> no, no. This is my fault. I shouldn't have acted so well, considering the circumstances, I would say that we celebrate this momentous occasion. <laughs> yes, yes, I finally did, Lord Vulcan. Uh, I suggest we mount a 19 day long silent vigil so that we can last. This is something we act, the Raven Guard actually do. should celebrate itself by taking 19 day long naps. What? We seek full unity with our return primarchs and mm -hmm. carry upon our shoulders the darkest black burden of this galaxy. Blood and slaughter. Bloody and what bloody salter. I am on the knees. Look. Pardon my but I remind you that terror isn't happening. What <laughs> terror has happened to the throne world? We called upon you not only for our reunion. We were part of the celebration, I guess. We have reason to believe. The biggest, sweetest boy of the Imperial Sons, pretty much. Vulcan Never is my favorite. Oh my god. The cradle of man himself. How could the Raven God have missed such crucial information? We did receive word from the Astro Happy. Funny Queen. enough, uh, Joy Toy actually made a model of Kaivon Strike. It's really cool looking. Those reports also claim that the Emperor himself had enacted those reformations. I wanted to believe it, but instead I idly waited for further developments. Really? <laughs> Remarkable. The prevention and expulsion of such organizations is something I definitely could see my father doing. Perhaps hmm. it is true, but perhaps not. What they have to go check the themselves. Magnus ostensibly has access to the Imperial Palace and perhaps from that the High Lords. Surveying this critically, it would be quite simple to draw the conclusion that Magnus is planning something. Something that bodes super ill. Super but what ill if father fable. has returned. And brought Magnus back into his fold. <laughs> Come, brother, don't be ridiculous. Magnus killed you. All we know is that the throne world might be under siege, which is why we must make haste and flay him alive. With <laughs> Excuse me, my lords. Huh? What is it, Bond's friend? There's a chapter, sir, also known as Bond's men. They live to serve the space room by polished boots or rinse the fluid. Oh, ew. To enter the command deck. She has urgent reports. Send her in. Master Sassafras. Sassafras. Um. Ah, oh, the astropath. My usual lords. Yes, I have intercepted communications from a nearby subsector. What Some is this communication? Take the astropath. Ah, the stress scout from the planet. How do we pronounce all these? A second to this, and where such sounds. Nikumar catches. 
He commits something whatever. <laughs> something whatever. <laughs> oh, it's the Catechins <laughs> fable. The Raven God fought with the proud Catechins second in the Damocles Gulf. For those that don't know, uh, the ga Games Gulf was a conflict war. The Imperial tried to fend from invading Tau forces under commander of Shadow Sun. Huh. So that was the Damocles Crusade was about. But, uh, yeah, the Katakins are basically a bunch of Rambos and 80s action heroes as a single planet. I'm not aid. surprised if a few Katakins got chosen to be space marines. Blood spilt would be a hundredfold, a thousandfold, if Terra were to fall. We must leave these guardsmen to their fate. My brother! Whether or not Terra has fallen, we cannot neglect saving human life that is within our direct reach. Yeah, that's the Vulcan, save, all right. The more we can consolidate our forces for our merry crusade to Terra, these men shall join our ranks as friends of... Peace. Everything we, Yeah, every time I they congeal forces, it's called a crusade. Full of logical decisions. Oh, my full of surprises! All right, Good let's God. make this quick. Adventure! Okay, they're on a snowy planet. Oh no, Fable! Yeah, man. It's the Slanesh demons! Oh dear. The demonettes. Oh, I was reading that. Horrifying, as usual. This big boy with the big gun. <laughs> From Pinball Ballerina. So it's just called the Masquerade of Slanesh. Oh no. Oh, apparently Slanesh cursed her to dance for all time. Salamanders are here. <laughs> they are. Oh, damn time. No! Those Southern soul is not genuine. Their tampered tissues will not please the prince. Oh my god. Belligerent bird bouncers. They try to kill time the mask. Oh. If she doesn't like That's artificial muscles, I guess so. You, you, you are a child of the anathema. The master of mankind to you. The anathema Kray. is what they call the emperor, or what demons call him. These biceps are not worth the banishment. I'm out. Well, I'll be chopped and used for rations. That's the biggest marine I ever saw. That's no mere marine, Parker. That's Greetings, a... jungle free. You stare, speak out of line, soldier. Oh. Holy shit, that one's even larger. I am Vulcan, Primarch of the Salamanders, and over there is my brother, Corvis Korax, Primarch of the Raven Guard. Emperor's teeth! I never thought I'd stand before one of the Emperor's own offspring. I am Colonel Strachan, and we mm. are soldiers of the proud Kenakan Second. We salute you for aiding us with killing these horrific walking modern art projects. Modern art projects. Of no concern. But for your lives, you are now indebted more than ever to the safeguarding of mankind. I mean, that makes now sense. Listen, we do this listen. usually. Terra is in peril. Your regiment, as well as every single other regiment your homeworld has to offer, shall help us to reclaim. I mean, <sighs> everyone on Katakin is part of the Guard Regiment. 
True. So when they all leave, everyone goes to fight. I'd rather drink grog shit and have my corpse lathered in acid grub gravy before I'd rather not. an inhuman son of a four-armed whore lay as much as a squint on Terra's holy soil. A colorful way of putting it, Colonel. Yes, yes, a very colorful. Let us make for your homeward, Colonel. From there, the campaign to rally regiments to our cause shall be an effortless endeavor. As a Katakan jungle fighter, you're always... And yes, they always wear red bandanas. Let me see. He says, you're always close to home. Close to home. Oh, that's a... As a guy can juggle fire, you're all not necessarily close to home. You're just as well cruising through the... They too will hear the call, sir. <laughs> the up, Halo man. Stars. Oh, you never back. want to be near the Halo Stars. Fable's typing things. No. uh huh, yeah -huh. This is rather... Austere. I suppose it would be for the likes of us. Oh, you do not want to be on Katakin, uh, Chrono. Do you know why? No, I don't know why. Uh, everything on the planet tries to kill you. Oh. Including right. the plants, the fauna, <laughs> the fauna, everything. There is an yeah. actual book of literally all the creatures on Katakin, and each one is more horrifying than the last. A demon invasion tried to invade Catacomb. Uh, they got to, they got murdered by all the fauna and florana before the guards before their god uh, guard regiment got back home. It uh, hmm. bomb of the food chain. Honestly, plant, you are the bomb of the food chain. Pretty much. Basically, you have to be hardy just to survive on this planet. This here Catachan thing is a real knife. Ha! You call that sorry spatula a knife? Nah. Better bow before the Night Reaper. Oh my god. This is a knife. Oh my god. Man, what kind of shit up grunts I am I sunk it into? Is that what you tribe yankers call knives in these here parts? A real knife is nothing less than a devil's claw knife. Oh. By Marbo's glutes, I'll be damned. It's so big. Oh, yeah, boy. Attention. <laughs> Who's in command here? <laughs> This man has knives for hands. The, the man emperor listened to my prayers. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my serene essence. Well, suppose I'm in command, sir. You suppose? Yeah, concerned I've got my finest knife. Right, boys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My own failure to show surprise. I must justly flagellate myself. Uh. Just some big important choppers, jungly boys. It is rare to see such fine alloys used in blades for God's gift. The True. stuff used to produce these knives are exclusive to Katachan, sir. Ah. Yeah, uh, they're the best cutters around. And they're not only stabby, steady door wands, but they also stabby. mark off status. Calling knives up the likelihood of being butted sounded and such. As long oh. as you wield it well, of course. People look at you funny if you end up stabbing yourself a bunch. I can dig that. So you are I can dig that. He mimics that of orcs, but instead of judging body mass index, you are all constantly performing a regiment-wide knife <laughs> measuring contest. I can see clear oh as God. sunlight that you're no less than a son of the emperor himself, considering all that sharp stuff sticking out of you, sir. Right, whatever. Repeat. Right, whatever. How is Colonel Strachan faring? No news yet, sir. He'll be coming around himself when he's got news. Mm. In the meantime, I suggest you sit back and enjoy nature, sir. <laughs> enjoy nature. Contempt. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Come, brother. While we wait, let us tour through these magical woods. Oh. Right. Fine. Let us tie tree bows together for a makeshift cat of nine tails. Adventure! What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what happened there with Vulcan, but okay. <laughs> These planet doubles need to no bounds. Tank size squaffer beads, platoon eating plants, and oh. trench foot for the power armor. Why do people live here? <laughs> Is it really pronounced Katakan? 
Apparently so. Then why is there a Chuck in the name? I don't know. I do not think spelling is a top priority amongst... The record's waiting death has track and pronounce it Catacan. That's the joke. If you comment on this, you lose. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Catacan. <laughs> you are point conceded. Hmm. But I am honestly surprised that nearby Sardis chapters do not use this as a recruiting world. Yeah, I would be surprised. To merely survive here as a feat is taxing as the most grueling of Ravengar trials. True. One of the most important Ravengar trials is to catch a bird in the forest. Grueling. I mean, they can. Their mere muscular presence bolsters morale amongst troopers, makes other regiments strive to be as prestigious, and makes that is true. Look good by association. <sighs> so, politics are to blame then. The commander of the Imperial Army is in charge. The Wall of Guns! <laughs> Everyone has a fight over whether you call them the Astro Militarum or the Imperial Guard. I. What, Mac? Every There's always this fight over whether you call them the Astro Militarum or the Imperial Guard. I don't care which way. You can call them either. <laughs> yeah. And, and yes, Catacan is full of 80s action heroes. So you have Rambo, there's. Uh, Commander Johnson, or Sergeant Johnson, Ellen Ripley in there. All their models are based off of 80s action heroes. Requires this planet and its elite troops to prove a point. Mm. How repulsively bureaucratic. Well, this green murderous marble is a cherished part of Imperial history, my friends. <laughs> the telling of its tales is greatly appreciated by the denizens of the Imperium. Inspiring well, I Obi Wan Sherlock Hunter. No, I'm not kidding. Wait, what? How come these regiments aren't provided more? There's an inquisitor named Obi Wan Sherlock Closey. What? what <laughs> I, I refuse to believe this. More effective war gear. Lest I check. Bare pectorals are no substitute for flak armor. Is that not a good sign? The Katakan jungle friends can get their assignment done while wasting minimal resources. That is really good. Gun, big pair of boots, jungle pants, bandana. There's always a. Actually, a top. Economic, they always wear a red bandana. Very, uh... No, it's funny. Uh, there's a group of aliens called the Crute that gain abilities based off of what they eat. Uh, when one of them ate a catacan, he started wearing red and disobeying orders. It's, uh... Yeah. What's a better word for marketable? Bill called Rogue Trader. The one piece of war gear they sport effectively are their knives. I'm hardly sure how they even acquire them. Presumably, the local forge world deals them their knives in exchange for the steel alloys unique to this planet. Oh. I refuse to believe for a single second that the machine cult would ever willingly waste whatever minuscule amounts of minerals that can be mined off of this world. Oh, they would. Knives for regiments that refuse to wear even the most basic of armors. They would. Aesthetically, the Kalachins make up for their lack of war gear. Aesthetics are as important, if not more so, than effectiveness in combat, as the Emperor himself has obviously... Yeah. Obviously... Obviously... Decree. I love the design of the Sisters of Battle, I won't lie. We have a hard time arguing against the latter part of that point. Say, brother, I'm surprised you as a raving god would not make a point of this, but... Easy to wear minimal amounts of armor, a good thing when considering their speciality is asymmetrical warfare in wild grown gardens of heat and humidity. Mm. I know the necessity of their utilitarian tactics, Vulcan, but not to the point that justifies semi nudity. That is what I am criticizing. On death worlds where venomous animals, poisonous flora, and acid rains rule, covering your skin is surprisingly important. Did not yeah. the fluorescent friendly brother Ferris do something similar? Your oh. Law, brandishing the sheer might of humanity by showing off his flushing muscles all the time. Oh yeah, he did. Because said muscles oh, wow. were permanently covered in living metal. Besides, if his sons and the iron hands got to decide, Every single soul on this forsaken planet would carry salmon and exiles, yeah. which would make Colonel Strachan look like an unsoiled newborn. Uh, oh. Flesh uh. is weak. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> they knocked down Ferris Manus. Uh, do you not want to know the joke about him and his legion, uh, Chrono? What's that? 
Uh, well, it's just the joke of the man named Iron Hands in Latin leads the group of chapter called Iron oh. Hands and has iron hands. Damn. Makes sense. Paris Manis would say the opposite, ya dumb horse faced idiot. Oh, in that case, what if the Kadachan jungle fighters were to envelop themselves in this living metal as well? Their quote unquote armor would be heat resistant, not too heavy, and retain their, um, remarkable aesthetics. Alas, mm. interjections are abundant. Living metal is oft only found through that of heretical Xenos concert. True. It's for my principally rare. Besides, it is clear enough to see that the normal musculature of Catachan folk is sufficient enough to send up any pack of hostiles flying. That is but true. With the departure of Demoness, but that is, to be fair, a given considering. Friends! Uh. Look at this dog! Oh. Falcon, we are in the middle of a discussion. Greetings, amphibian friends. I have borrowed the skull and heraldry of your interplanetary cousin. You shall be uh, friends for a lifetime, smoke broker. Uh, oh no. Corvus Corax, sir. I have news. Report. Word has been spread. Regiments across all nearby sectors are already banging on the Munitorium's doors to get transferred back home to serve under your command. Nice. Excuse me, sir. Gunnery Sergeant Harker, check your zone. Park until 12 o'clock by the Jolly Green Giant, sir. Oh. Emperor's tap dancing thyroid gland. Everyone, danger. <laughs> that is one hell of a thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Told, sir, uh, the most poisonous creature in the galaxy. What? It rip a cloud of toxins that can kill anything if it's feeling threatened. Even pull the seal power armor don't help. Oh! Are you serious? It's a lesser one, so situation's under control. Everyone step out of its immediate vicinity. All right, mm -hmm. I do not want to believe you, but I do. Uh, it's Catacan. Mm -hmm. Step away. So, um, step away. I would like to pet this creature. Oh my god. It would be but a single poop on its noggin. Do not poop that Mary suicide bomber. I want okay. to poop the snooze. <laughs> Don't want to. But stop. Must. Okay. But boop. No booping. Boop. This is how I have to deal with Fable sometimes, I will be honest. Yee. We gotta get moving. Rare as they are, them barking toads move in close proximity to one another this time of year. Wouldn't want to meet one of them greater toads that hop around. Oh. Uh. Why is there one on my head? No, Emperor, damn wonder, I say. They're attracted to the smell of ammonia. Oh. You should have really gone and taken a shower, sir. Them greater toads have their toxins travel a kilometer in seconds when detonating. Oh, We're no. Dead, no. That's something me and Fable think sometimes when they're hearing some of the stuff from 40k. Yourselves. Evacuate the area. I shall remain, but it still suckles on my ammonia ridden scalp. But, but my Primarch. We cannot leave you to this fate. We could never do such a thing. Kavon, Kadus, do as I say. Your fate is that of the Raven. This toad, however, is mine. My penance for crimes committed. It is a just mm. fate. And I Oops, the frog, no. Is not meant to return. The galaxy needs you more than it needs me. Fine jest, sir. But there's an issue. That toad slowly sliding off your greasy, unwashed bush of a hairdo. Before we can get out of dodge, that toad's gonna be falling down like a warhead, killing us all. And you talking ain't making things better. You shall not die. No, 
I shall not share this punishment with anyone else. Oh. You cannot be. Farewell. You must yet make your way to Terra without me. Do not allow Magnus the Red to threaten Soul with his malignant presence. Vulcan will lead you well. Whenever he wakes up from his uh, self imposed death nap. Yeah, it's really hard to kill Vulcan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at self-imposed death nap? Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> of course, they're making raven noises. I talk civorous grace. I meet my fate to feel sorrow and hate. Is he really making pun or making poems right now? Yeah. What? Fable! Fly Marble! He has returned! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, Sly Marble just saved the Primark. The Percy would. <laughs> oh, he bowed to him. But <laughs> Primark, you live! <laughs> the Emperor! Unsure how you managed to survive, but I reckon that's the making of the Emperor's work. That's work. Actually, I was saved. A uh, jungle fighter like you came flying, literally, <laughs> from the jungle below, delivering my head from the grasp of that nuclear amphibian. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. That must have been Sly Marbo. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this enigmatic figure? He's a rare sight, even here on his home planet. He's a bog standard jungle fighter, only a private, in fact. But he's oh. so good at what he does, he's been awarded the Star of Terror more times than anyone in the galaxy, as far as I know. Is that actually true, Fable? Uh, to my understanding, yes, he has been given the, uh, he has been given so many medals, he doesn't actually know what to do with them, so they just kind of put him, so basically the person that rewards it to him just like, I'll just put him with the rest, and Sly just <laughs> nods slowly. <laughs> yes. Also, yeah, Vulcan is the super hope some space green Deadpool kinda. Private Marbo may be half crazy and have eyes as pretty as a corpse's, but the boy's a saint, is what he is. A living, bleeding saint. But Maybe. <laughs> I once heard Marbo was a missing Brahma. I can attest on that not being true, mm. but I nevertheless owe this man my life. Oh, pardon, That's good. but now I must ask, how did he manage to... Do any well, of that? Fly? Oh, he can't fly or anything, but his aerodynamic musculature and knowledge of Kadakan jungle tree buoyancy can help him simulate <laughs> flight. What? Crazy bastard. Oh. Wow. Mm, perfect. He's truly <laughs> proven himself this time around. As he's technically part of my Catacan second. Technically. I hope he joins us on this Terran Crusade business. I would demand no less. If he represents your greatest warriors, I can see huge potential in you all by association. <laughs> Just like you do, Militarum at large, I realize. I'm Aww. grateful to have troops such as yours. That's sweet. In our crusade. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> The Strongman Commando friends have officially joined us on our journey. Holy shit! Oh, that looks painful. Instructor Barnes could see me now. Oh god. Yeah, Vulcan's um a lot bigger than a normal human, and obviously a lot stronger. So, you ever heard that if a gorilla gives you a hug, he'll snap your spine? I've heard something along the lines of that. Yeah, let me just... What the hell? Sly Marble's at the end here, Fable. 
He's just gonna scream or something. That's the original model. Is that a bunch of dead El uh, Dark Eldar? They had it coming. Oh well, yeah, I have... It's a bunch of models. Warp Storm painting models. Honestly, out of everyone in the universe, Chrono, the Dark Eldar deserve it the most to be killed. So, is this like his new series or something? No, like his new series is uh, Hunter the Parenting. Well, in the like uh, text to speech thing. Oh, this was a side series until he had ended because of copyright. Uh, hey, yeah. I got one view. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so once again, thank you all so much for coming by. Anything you guys want to say? I think Fable should watch the Walton Files now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say, give me cake. I'm, I'm hungry. Okay. Well, thank all of you for no. coming by. <laughs> if you like what we're doing, no cake until you watch Walton Files now. Never. <laughs> thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Have Bye. fun. Bye.